When it's too cold to go out, there's nothing to beat relaxing by a roaring fire with an old pipe. The older the better. In fact, this one goes back to 1876. And that's all right when you've got an old pipe, but it's no simple matter when you've got a collection of over 400 pipes to choose from, like Trevor Barton of Hadley Wood in Hertfordshire. Mr. Barton started his collection ten years ago and by combing antique shops and street markets all over the country has uncovered specimens like this elaborately hand-carved wooden pipe from Germany. The carvings made by herdsmen and peasants of the Black Forest depict scenes from everyday life. More grotesque is the Japanese smoking combination normally worn hanging from the girdle. Trevor and his wife, Tina, have acquired a massive knowledge about their hobby, the smoking customs of people throughout the world, the history of pipes like these. A masterpiece in Dresden, China, date 1850. A group of Chinese water pipes, at least that's what they're supposed to be. A giant Bavarian pipe said to have been once owned by Ludwig, the Mad King. With this Persian water pipe, you blow bubbles instead of smoke rings. A waltzing scene from old Vienna is portrayed in this Austrian Meerschaum cigar holder, while the Cavalier is another fine example of Meerschaum tradition. A rare 18th century Staffordshire snake pipe, intended for ornament rather than use. For the man whose eyes are bigger than his tummy, a four foot six inches long Austrian pipe holding two ounces of tobacco some people never learn. Smoking a, <coughs> a monster like that is a somewhat doubtful privilege. <coughs> Sometimes they're far better just to look at. 